So what I've got here is a bucket of pulp that is ready to go into the vat. And just a, we do a lot of recycling, so it's just a yogurt container filled with water. And I've got pigment that's used specifically for paper making. If you're a painter, and let's say you're an acrylic painter, acrylic paint is made out of a binder and pigment. In the case of paper, the, there's no need for a binder and the pigment actually absorbs directly into the fiber. It just sucks in that color. But we don't want to just dump it in here because maybe the pulp will uh, get spotty. It would take the pigment differently in one part of the vat than the other. So we try to do it outside of the vat and disperse the color into water first so if there's any lumps or bumps we get it out ahead of mixing it together. This stuff is super power powerful. You don't need much. I've got a spoon um, with just a tiny, you know, quarter teaspoon maybe of pigment. And by dispersing it in the water, you can see it's immediately and vibrantly colored. Stir that up. This happens to be a brand new bottle of pigment, so it's not lumpy and bumpy like it can get after a period of time. And I'm gonna pour it into this bucket of pulp and you can see that it just immediately takes that color. So you know that you've got the color right when the cotton has absorbed all of the pigment and the water is clear. And if you have a chance and you can do it overnight, you can let it sit and then it will become uh, sure to be in the in the fiber rather than the, in the water but you can see up close that the fiber has absorbed most of the color but the water is not quite completely clear but let's speed it up a little bit we're gonna put something called retentionate in there you don't need much and because we are not uh, making production sheets there's no specific formula that we have to follow it's more just by eye so now, if you look closely, you can see that the water is clear. 